the weird old Mercedes? Yeah. Is it diesel? Like, totally built for the, you know, people in the back. Oh. You can tell it was like a chauffeur Mercedes. And I want it. I want, I I want to make parents. it my own. I want my parents to get it for me. Oh, you, you better start getting your spiritual energy out there. I'd get it, no, I'd get it, I'd get it to just, like, hire my neighbor to I show for me to parties. You're, I think your sermon taught me that you got to get the spiritual, you got to get the spiritual advantage before you get the material advantage. I think that's what your sermon taught me. It'd be, it'd be my, it'd be my, uh, drinking vehicle. I'd have to have a chauffeur. Wouldn't even have a blow and go in it. It'd just be for, like, going to parties and, and having somebody else drive. Is that what your sermon taught? Is that you have to have the spiritual advantage before you get the, the material advantage? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I was just... I wasn't yeah, paying. You weren't even paying attention to what you were saying. Gotta have fifty nine ninety five and it can be in my driveway. Yeah, fifty nine ninety five. See, you're you're like just going against your sermon you just said. You you Come gotta on. have a spiritual warfare with whoever else wants it and then that, that money will come up, but you're in a spiritual battle. Oh, I think a yeah, I think a Pharisee is gonna get your a Pharisee is gonna get that car. Satan gets us with the materialism all the time. Well, I think we'll sell out our grandma for material wisdom. Especially if it's a nice chauffeur Mercedes. This is a nice chauffeur Mercedes we're talking about. So. Right on diesel. Oh, I've seen it diesel say, Mercedes before. It didn't say diesel on it, so I'm sure I don't think it was. Oh, okay. Have you ever seen a diesel Mercedes, though? Those are kind of cool. I knew yeah. a guy with a diesel Mercedes. <laughs> you can run it on vegetable oil. Yeah, that'd be good. Hmm. Sounds familiar. What? Pike, Albert Pike, that name sounds familiar. Yeah. Yes, Lucifer is God. And 
unfortunately, Ed is also God. They're both God. For the eternal law is that there is no light without shade, no beauty without ugliness, no white without black. For the absolute can only exist as two gods, darkness being necessary to light to serve as its foil, as the pedestal is necessary to the statue, and the break to the locomotive. That's true. I gave Star a good Bible. I did a good Bible.